friends, welcome to your next math lesson. I'm Miss Diario from Citizenship Academy, and we are working on module two with measurement, and we're on lesson six. So our goal today is to going to be to measure and compare lengths using centimeters, which are the size of your pinky, and meters, which are 100 centimeters long. So 100 pinkies, that's a meter. Now for this lesson, we're gonna be working with a lot of different types of word problems. So if you don't already have something to write with and something to write on, pause the video and go grab those things and come back. All right, ready? We're gonna get right into it with a word problem. So this says, Eve is seven centimeters shorter than Joey. Joey is 91 centimeters tall. How tall is Eve? The first thing I want us to do to solve this problem is to draw a tape diagram picture. And I'm gonna show you what I mean with that. So we need to figure out Eve's height, right? The question is asking how tall is Eve? So I have a J for Joey and an E for Eve. Now we don't know how tall Eve is, right? We just know she's shorter, seven centimeters shorter than Joey. Joey is 91 centimeters tall. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a rectangle and write the number 91 in it. Cause I know Joey is 91 centimeters tall. Now Eve is seven centimeters shorter than Joey. So her box is gonna be shorter than Joey's. Not a ton shorter, but shorter. And this distance right here is gonna be seven. Okay, so what I'm going to use, I'm going to use this picture to help me solve the problem. What I want to know is how are we going to do this? Are we going to add 91 and 7 together? Are we going to subtract 91 and 7? What do you think we're going to do? Talk with someone at home about what your thoughts are about how we should solve this problem based on the information we have, based on the picture. So I'm noticing from the picture that we don't know what this is. We have this information, we have this information, but we don't know what this is. And this is the difference between these two numbers. When I hear difference, I hear subtract. So I'm gonna set up my subtraction problem. 91 minus seven. I want you to pause the video and solve that on your own. Come back when you're ready. Ready? Okay, let's go through it together. So they set up their tape diagram just like we did. 91 minus seven, we're gonna take the 10 out of 91 because we know how to subtract from 10. Super easy for us. So we're gonna take the 10 out of 91. We're gonna do 10 minus seven. 10 minus seven is, you know that, three. Awesome. So then we're gonna take that extra part of the 91 that we broke down, which is what? 81, good, and we're gonna add it to our three. 81 plus three, 81, 82, 81, 82, 83, 84. Ooh. So our answer is 84, thumbs up if you got that. Now when we do word problems, we can't just say Psh, 84, done. We can't do that. We have to tell what 84 means. Is it 84 carrots? Is it 84 puppies? No, it's 84 centimeters. Eve is 84 centimeters tall. We need to finish it with that statement. We need to give our problems a name. All right, now we are going to move into a couple problems. Make sure you still have your paper and pencil out. What we're going to do is we're gonna find the difference between two measurements. So we have two lines here, line A and line B. Now, what we need to figure out is the length of line A and B because our problem on the bottom says line A is about blank centimeters longer than line B. In order to figure that out, we have to know the lengths of both of the lines. So go ahead and pause the video and figure out the lengths of the lines. What you're gonna notice is on the ruler, these lines are not starting at the end point. So what I would do is either frog jump and count the, the centimeters or do your subtraction. Whatever is easier for you. Figure out the length of line A and line B. Unpause when you're ready. 
Ready? Okay, so I see line A starts at about 7 centimeters, ends at about 22 centimeters, and I frog jumped all the way to 22, and I got 15 centimeters. So line A is 15. Line B, I see it starts at about 7 and ends at about 12-ish. So I'm going to say that's about 5 centimeters. So now our next step is figuring out how much longer line A is than line B. There are a couple different ways to do this. These two lines are lined up on our ruler. They have the same endpoint. So what we can do is count the space, count the centimeters in between the two lines right here. We can go like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We can count the centimeters or we can set up a subtraction problem. We can say 50. 15 minus 5 equals what? And we still get 10. So line A is about 10 centimeters longer than line B. All right, let's try this one. We have line C and line D. Oop. Go ahead and measure those on your own. Pause the video. And come back when you're ready. Measure line C and line D. Same way we did the last one. Okay, let's check it. So line C, I think, starts at about 6 centimeters, ends at about 15 centimeters. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 centimeters. And line D starts at about 7, ends at about 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 centimeters. All right, so our statement on the bottom says line C is about the length centimeters shorter than line D. This is a little bit of an easy one. Line D, I know, is 9 centimeters. And when you want to find the difference, then line C, and that's 8 centimeters. 9 minus 8 is 1. 1 centimeter difference. Awesome. Okay. So go ahead, pause the video again. Measure the lengths of line E, F, and G. Unpause when you're ready. Ready? Okay. Line E, you should have got about 4 centimeters. Line F, 7 centimeters. And line G, 8 centimeters. Now our question on this one is a little bit different. It's asking us for lines E, F, and G, their combined length. What does that mean when we're asking for a combined? We're asking for the length combined. Good. We're asking for all of the lengths. So what do you think we need to do to figure that out? Yeah, we need to add them. So we're going to set up a number sentence. 4 plus 7 plus 8 equals. And then you're going to solve. You could also, if it's easier for you to count the different lengths and then count on from there, that's fine. But your first step is always going to be to find, figure out the lengths of the lines. And then you're going to add them together when you need to combine. So go ahead and pause and solve. All right, see what you got. 4 plus 7 plus 8 is 19 centimeters. So all three lines combined are 19 centimeters. Awesome job. All right, word problem time. Here we go. Daniel measured the heights of some young trees in an orchard. Aw. He wants to know how many more centimeters are needed to have the height of a meter. Do you remember how many centimeters are in a meter? One hundred centimeters in a meter. So we need to get whatever height was there up to a meter, up to a hundred centimeters. All right. So one of them was ninety centimeters. How many more centimeters do we need to get to one meter or one hundred centimeters? Ten. Good job. Ninety plus ten is a hundred, or ninety centimeters plus ten centimeters is one meter. Excellent work. Try this one. How many more centimeters do we need to get to from 80 centimeters to 1 meter? 80 centimeters to 100 centimeters or 80 centimeters to 1 meter. How many more centimeters do we need? Use your tens facts. Good. 20. Good. Let's do one more. 85 centimeters to a meter. For this one, I'm going to do a number sentence. You solve it how you want to solve it, though. What are you thinking? Yeah, good. 
it's five less than the last one, so it's going to be 15 meters. Good. We're going to skip that one, and we're going to skip that one for now because I want to show you my exit ticket. So your exit ticket is similar to the line exercises we did in our problem set today. You're going to have three lines to work with, line J, line K, line L. If I were you, I would get my piece of paper and label the three lines and draw them like the tape diagram. So the longest line is line L, that's one meter or 100 centimeters. Line K is 85 centimeters, and line J is 60 centimeters. So what I did was just draw them in order of, so I can see which one's the longest, and I changed 100, 1 meter to 100 centimeters, because I know 1 meter is 100 centimeters. And then I did 85 and 60, and I did the, the boxes to show the lengths. Now, you're going to have... One, two, three, four questions to answer about the lengths of the objects. You're going to compare them just like we did in our lesson today. So you're going to see how many centimeters shorter, longer. This one, you've got to double the length of this one. So two times, double this one, and then solve. And then you're going to combine them like we did in the second and the third line problem. Okay? So you're going to... Use these lengths and solve just like we did in the problem set. You're going to subtract for most of them, except for the combined, you need to add them all together. All right, draw the lengths out so you can see them, so it makes sense in your brain. Write out the word problems, and then choose the best answer. And I will see you guys next time. Good luck, have fun.